this is what my depression looks like. My depression is getting all of my stuff ready for work the next day, going to bed, getting my outfit ready, and then waking up in the morning and just not wanting to be a part of the world today. It is so exhausting mentally and physically being in your own mind constantly trying to tell yourself that you need to be happy and you need to be excited about life when inside you just don't feel that joy I want to so badly be one of those people that get up every day and go to work and drive home on a Friday feeling good that they put their 40 hours of work in but that person is really hard for me to be I tell myself maybe I don't know hundreds of times a day that I need to be happier and that I'm really lucky with the life that I have and the family that I have and my health and my friends and it doesn't really make a difference though like inside I'm so sad and I'm so lost like I don't know it's just really hard and I've been working on it and of course the more you work on things the more things come up I quit my antidepressants last year and I weaned myself off of them and I haven't had antidepressants in my body since July of last year because I don't think that they really work and my sleeps were really bad and I just didn't feel a difference so I stopped them so now I go to counseling every two weeks you know and I talk about how I feel and I try to change my outlook on things because there's a lot of negative self-talk I don't know it's just really hard and you don't want to tell people that you sit in bed and you cry because I don't want people to feel bad for me and there's nothing even anybody can do you know like I am very fortunate to have the family and friends that I have who are super nice and super caring and my relationships are very healthy with them but if somebody were to walk into the door and say, Cheyenne, I love you, don't be sad, it doesn't really do anything for me. <laughs> it almost makes me feel worse because I don't want to be sad all the time. And I don't want people worried about me. <sighs> I know a lot of sadness that I feel comes from what happened to me when I was a teenager when somebody strips a part of you when you're young you can't help but a blame yourself obviously but you just can't help but wonder like who you really are as a person because 
going through something so traumatic puts you into this state of protecting yourself. So I left school. I lost every friend that I had in school. I was so scared to be around people because people were would hurt me or I was so embarrassed of the person that I am because the choice that I made put me in a position where somebody really hurt me. And when you isolate yourself for so long, you miss out on a lot of lessons in life. And after what happened when I was 14, I was just petrified to ever be part of a group of friends again or to go out and meet new people or put myself in a setting where people would judge me. Now being 30, I realize that what I did to protect myself is what I had to do at that time, but it really left me in a position of not knowing who I am. Like, I know who I want to be, and I know, you know, what I feel as who I am inside, but it's really hard. And depression is one of those things that a lot of people don't understand. And you think, I don't know, you just, people don't understand. They're like, oh, you're pretty, you have a good family, you have a job, you have your own place. Like, you have nothing to be depressed about. And that's almost worse. I don't understand how I can feel so broken inside when I do have all of those things. And it puts a lot of pressure on me because I want people to be happy for me and I want people to be proud of me. And how are people going to be proud of me if I wake up and I don't go to work and I stay in bed and I cry all day? I don't know, it's really hard. And even though I'm not the only person affected with it, everybody experiences it differently. So my depression can look completely different than other people's. And I don't know.